Former Russian test pilot Magomed Tolbayev told reporters that Sukhoi Su-57, fifth-generation fighter jet, NATO nicknamed Felon, has more of a likelihood of getting the initiative early on and winning in a one-on-one -on -one dogfight with US F-35 Lightning II stealth fighter. Su-57 will kill an F-35 easily should they meet one-on-one. -on -one. The F-35 cannot maneuver, it is simply incapable, but it does have electronic might, Tolbayev said, adding that electronics could be disrupted even by solar flares. The pilot disclosed, this is why I oppose everything electronic. Tolbayev characterized the Su-57 as a brilliant plane, but underscored that the times of one-on-one -on -one dogfights are long over. The pilot added, today you no longer fight one-on-one, -on -one. everything depends on your support. There is electronic warfare today. There is no longer a sparring to Tommy, but a complex approach to tactical issues. There are reasons to believe that the Russian pilot's assertion has a bias impacting his judgment. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russian Su-57 won't win a one-on-one -on -one duel against American F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support, so grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. Sensor fusion is combining of sensory data or data derived from disparate sources such that the resulting information has less uncertainty than would be possible when these sources were used individually. The term uncertainty reduction in this case means a more accurate, more complete, or more dependable view of the situation. The F-35's sensor fusion engine processes myriad data the F-35 collects with its different sensors and combines it into a holistic picture. The F-35's cockpit has a single screen that is able to show the relevant information in a concise format due to sensor fusion. Sensor fusion is one of the key features of a fifth-generation fighter, and the F-35 is way ahead in this regard. Viewers observe how concisely the information is displayed to the pilot in the cockpit in F-35 compared to Su-57. This will be critical when it comes to the air-to-air -air engagement as an F-35 pilot will be in a better position to leverage the advanced technologies present in the jet. Also, it is to be noted that F-35 can share the data so that the situational awareness of every warfighter present in the vicinity is increased exponentially. The ANAAQ-37 Electro-Optical Distributed Aperture System DAS, is the first of a new generation of sensor systems being fielded on the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter. The ANAAQ-37 DAS is designed and produced by Northrop Grumman. DAS consists of six high-resolution infrared sensors mounted around the F-35's airframe in such a way as to provide unobstructed spherical 4 pi stratian coverage and functions around the aircraft without any pilot input or aiming required. The DAS provides three basic categories of functions in every direction simultaneously. Missile detection and tracking, including launch point detection and countermeasure queuing. Aircraft detection and tracking, situational awareness IRST, and air-to-air -air weapons queuing, imagery for cockpit displays and pilot night vision, imagery displayed onto the helmet-mounted display. 
The F-35's DAS was flown in military operational exercises in 2011, has demonstrated the ability to detect and track ballistic missiles to ranges exceeding 800 miles or 1,300 kilometers, and has also demonstrated the ability to detect and track multiple small suborbital rockets simultaneously in flight. A DAS test system has also been used to track tank gun and mortar fire. So the F-35 can track a plane, produce a weapons-grade firing solution, and fire its missiles without using the very powerful AN-APG-81 Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, radar system. Viewers may note that once a radar is scanning in active mode, it can be picked up by enemy sensors. Hence, the DAS and F-35 also plays a critical role in preserving the stealth characteristic of the jet. The Russian Sukhoi Su-57 has 101 KS-5 infrared search and track systems. The core of the DAS is the high-resolution infrared sensors. Russia lags behind when it comes to this. As per most observers, while F-35 can detect and track a heat source like a ballistic missile at a range of almost 1,000 miles, the Russian can do it at a range of around only 100 miles or 161 kilometers. F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II are developed from the ground up to be stealthy. F-22 is the stealthiest fighter ever built and has very low RCS or radar cross-section of only 0.0001 square meter. F-35 Lightning II has an RCS of 0.005 square meter. This is achieved due to its structural design as well as the use of RAM or radar absorbing materials. These aircraft can't be detected or detected by most radars, so they can strike without the enemy knowing they are there in the first place. Also, it must be noted that even if when some new advanced radars are available to detect them, the signature is so small that it is hard to track and get a radar lock. Stealth is very difficult to achieve. Russia has found it very hard to perfect even today. India has decided to stop working with Russia on the fifth generation fighter aircraft program or FGFA. FGFA was deemed to be an improved and customized variant of Su-57. One of the main reasons for this is that Su-57 was found to have suspect stealth capabilities when analyzed by the Indian side and the underlying design has little legroom to accommodate changes that can improve its stealth profile. As per some analysis, Su-57 has an RCS of 0.05 meters squared, which makes it around 500 times larger on the radar when compared to F-22, or at least 10 times larger when compared to F-35. So clearly, the F-35 will be able to see first and hit first. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.